Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom for the GameCube. And believe me, this this week, this False Bound week that I've been uh, going in on with this game has uh, definitely shown me some uh, ways <laughs> that uh, this, this game can break me that uh, I haven't been able to see before. So, uh, yeah, still hoping for something new to happen. Hopefully something better than... Uh, what the past few days have shown me, but uh, yeah, it should be uh, something else nevertheless. So uh, yeah, let me get started with that. That might be on the edge. Nope, I hit it. I can't even. I just can't. That encounter is not worth. That encounter is absolutely not worth. It's a stronger beast I can work with, but... I don't really... All right, need stronger beasts. I could use a faster beast. Silver Fang might be a faster beast. But, uh... Not in the... Not in exchange for the time. That it's going to take... To... Uh, recruit it. Sometimes I get the rhythm right on this mashing. There is a rhythm. And that happens when I don't get the rhythm right. That man. That was slow as hell. I shouldn't be hearing that much of the song transition when uh, I mash optimally. That was that was a stretch where I had the rhythm largely down. Cause you can hardly see the button icon with each text box. But that but that uh button mashing is uh Not in my muscle memory. What am I doing? That. Ah. Whatever. 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 Man. My arm gets worn out after a while trying to do all that mashing. Just one more, uh, sign that I'm not in shape. Did I go far enough? Yeah, I went far enough. Did I go wide enough? Barely. <laughs> Alright, that works. But, but, yeah, but, yeah, the, the camera tilting tricks. Like, manipulating the camera to move your cursor faster is definitely a big brain thing you can do to cut on your time. There are still a few instances of that. Mm, that mash 
mission did not feel good. Well, at least, at least the enemy team gave me one courtesy to one courtesy turn to move before uh, start going off. All right, there we go. You you get a critical hit. I'll get a critical hit right back. These critical hits are uh, rare as all get out too. Feels like a one in sixteen shot. <laughs> I had an inkling that that was going to be another critical, but I didn't want to risk. Giving swordsman of a foreign land an extra turn. Oh, I was pressing B. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna have my uh, thumb, my thumb next to the Y button to attack basic insect more quickly. But I don't even need that. I still have to wait for the camera to pan fully before. Uh, For those uh, attacks will go through. Kind of a high scoring battle there. Just kind of. So, I won that battle, and uh, with swap mode on, I don't have to. Uh, Wait five seconds before moving again. And, uh, there will come a point where I want to turn that off. One, only one very, very specific point. I'm getting really low damage rolls right now. I don't think there's a realistic shot of not killing if these three attacks don't land. These all three attacks land, and of course they don't. So that ends up like 15 seconds gone just because of that one miss. Because I had to do an extra attack to make up for all that. So because I ended up with two attacks to spare, it's essentially an average war campaign, but you can see how much time even that's losing. Oh my god, fail. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I'll still give you healing though, cause uh, you will be expected to carry this next mission. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, how about we don't do that? Nope. Trader is closed. It's like a one in four shot. Feels like of that uh, trader being open. Now, I'm gonna start making money. As each time you put in the Konami code, you get 573 gold. And a lot of things I want to buy in this run for my monsters costs like 600 to 900 gold so I'm gonna I'm gonna want quite a few of these 
over the course of the run. I don't think I I don't think I need this much extra money that I'm getting for myself now, but uh, it gives me something to do. Because this would be a rather long wait otherwise. I think this takes multiple minutes for Fizdus to uh, get to this spot. Okay, maybe not multiple minutes, but... It is a long time. I know it takes multiple minutes for Yugi to get to his spot. Yugi's only going to serve uh, to uh, weaken the boss a little bit. And hey, this this battle we get treated to to a Blackland Fire Dragon booty. That's good to know. That camera does put its, itself in a random position at the start of every battle. And there's no... there's no... Uh, good way to prevent it. Okay. Okay, you're waiting. Uh, do I attack with Zombie Warrior here? I don't think I will. I'm gonna try to beat Eurabian 2 attacks with Black Lane Fire Dragon. I trust it to have the attack range. Got it! Alright. Alright, that should actually let me uh, knock out this teddy bear in this battle. Which is not something I always get to do. Okay, well, I hit some bad damage rolls. So that's not going to happen either. Oh well. I thought I, I thought I uh, played around... Uh, Some uh, good uh, some of uh, played around some potential good luck there. So now I just hope to beat up on Tiger Axe here. got an idea. I wonder if I should actually be uh, waiting for Fizdus to uh, attack first. Because there is a small chance... That Yugi's experience ends up a little low. It ends up uh, affecting a battle down the line in a negative way for. Uh, another monster I use later, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Good roll. Okay, roll.
No, I do not trust Beaver Warriors damage range. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Beaver Warrior can hit those low numbers and uh, can make uh, dealing with that Mountain Warrior slightly problematic. Like I need, I would need an extra attack. Not something I am here for. And apparently, Feral Imp won't be here much longer. So, uh, it will come down to Fizzus to uh, clean this up. That's something I'm definitely interested in too, and something that I am definitely not uh, equipped to be able to make. So yeah, let's just do it that way. Oh, that was a good roll from Zombie Warrior, so this this might kill. Yay! You're waiting. That doesn't really help. Because you'll, you'll still be able to get in your two attacks anyway. Unless you wait again. The only way you don't get your two attacks off is if you wait twice. Or I need so many critical hits that uh, it would get insane. Can these three attacks do it? Okay, Zombie Warrior's not helping. Neither is for an imp. Black Lane Fire Dragon can still hit this. Nah. Oh well. That ends up fine. That is just fine. And it's still losing me time over... what uh, I could possibly get here. Beautiful. Like, I've done that mission 30 seconds faster. Almost exclusively due to critical hits. Alright, let's not set off that fire and... Uh, Say we, uh, did so oh, really? Okay, oh, whatever. Give you, you the Penguin Soldier. Give you Tony Kabuto. Give you the Swords and Room 4 in the land. Get them all equipped. They'll be important later. And... Turn off swap mode, just for this one mission. It's a very small trick. But, uh... It is more interesting... When you get to use every single feature. of a game in a speedrun to uh, your benefit. This is a feature, I don't know if 
the even even the Japanese manual goes into uh, detail about does it Yeah, I don't know. It's actually set in like swap mode A and B in the Japanese version. I definitely want the... Uh, I, I definitely would be interested in uh, seeing the uh, English manual in the... Uh, Officially commissioned strategy guide. So let's see here. All right. So Cornip uh, is placed directly behind Gazelle. For what's going to happen after this battle. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, see what happens after the battle. I'm not, I've not been uh, very trusting of uh, the damage ranges from uh, Celtic Guardian Gazelle to uh, knock out Shadow Ghoul from that precise amount of life points. Well, Gazelle got that one. Yeah, it seems like 450 is their average. No, 450 is on the low end. What am I talking about? Yeah, that went... That went as well as that reasonably goes. And watch what happens after. So you might have seen you might have seen uh, Horn Imp in the previous missions get pushed back after a battle, but uh, because of swap mode off, the game will uh, try to uh, push back a unit until it uh, hits another unit. Okay, I've got to try this to save my Celtic Guardian. That's a very high roll. And there we go. I think I try to save Celtic Guardian with a heal. Or not. I'm giving my yeah. I, I was giving myself a chance to get this kill with Beaver Warrior. And that helped a lot. Ah! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ugh, fine. Fine, that's, on that's only going to make swap mode off save more time here. Ugh. Man, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. I ended up with two attacks of spare, but one... One got killed and one missed. 
left. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Oh my god, fail. That's unfortunate. But uh, I've let worse runs continue. So swap mode is back on. It's not something I can uh, really make use of anymore. How much money do I have? Yeah, I got plenty of money. I got like two more shopping trips to make in the run. I should have more than enough money to uh, deal with that, but uh, the enemy, the enemy stronghold is guarded by cannons, which make their debut in this mission. So uh, because uh, Yugi does not have any healing. I'm sending cannon fodder to uh, take the cannon hit. And you'll get to see in a second why the cannon hit is so devastating. I'm fishing for a critical hit here. Definitely fishing. Fishing with my penguin. Cause that's how that works. All right, save that. Save that turn. Save this turn too. I can break through this. For some damage. Like at that point, it probably would, it would have been better just to wait, but... I think I... Well, wait, no, you're, you were still moving next. Yeah, it wasn't the end of the round. So that wouldn't have been... Uh, that would have been a guarantee to work out that way. But that's... That's a fine battle. Not a great battle, but it's fine. Now, I want to focus on this team and show just how uh, potent the uh, cannons are as this one fires in their face. Boom! 70% of their health gone. That's going to shorten this battle by a great deal. to deal with the Dark Rabbit first, because it has the highest defense. It would be the most problematic if it guarded. And Dark Elf. Having the most remaining health is a problem. And then if Cyber Commander moved next and guarded, I would still get this kill. Because its defense is so weak. That's base 500 defense. Not very strong at all. So that ends up working out fine. Now it's time to check in with Tristan, see how far far ahead of Yugi is moving. <laughs> oh my Jesus. Yeah, Hornip does move pretty fast. Unfortunately, there isn't convenient access to uh, attack boosting equipment 
in mission two that would benefit Horn Imp. In a way that uh, doesn't greatly take away from everything else. Which reminds me, what is... What is the uh, stuff you can find? Uh, that base. Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't know, and I can't look it up because the internet just went out. <laughs> Jolly good. I will have to. Uh, go along with this battle uh, without anyone else able to see it. Um. Do I try to take out Balox's turn? I think I do. Balox does occasionally move last in the turn order. Oh, it's guarding? Okay. Okay, fine. The other two are guarding, so... Try to take this out. I cannot afford to waste a single attack here. Craig will hit would have been nice earlier, but uh, can't be helped. Battle Ox is still guarding. And still guarding. So I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wait a couple of times, make sure the Battle Ox's guard wears off. And done. Uh, So for those live tuning back in, all that you missed was a routine Capulia battle. Not a damn thing special about it. Screen, I'll send you there. So, yeah, I definitely don't want to take the uh, base in the middle of this map, but if I went directly to uh, the enemy base, I, I would end up uh, taking this map, taking this uh, base. So, definitely not interested in that. Wait, did I move you too close? That always looks closer than it actually is. So I've got one more shopping trip to make. Two Electro Whips, four Beast Fangs, nine Silver Bows, and Arrows. That is uh, just about all I need to uh, set myself up for the rest of the game. One more, one more uh, small thing I get 
in the next mission. It's a small, it's a small amount, but it will uh, end up uh, proving to be uh, a big difference. Okay. I really do not like that that snake is guarding. I'm gonna try for this. I'm gonna wait. Cause yeah, that was a really low damage roll on Fiend Kraken. This is an awkward battle. And of course you get to move next. Freaking hell. Everything about this has been awkward as all get out. I am going to try for critical hits. That part ain't happening. I still have one attack to spare. Beaver Warrior might get this range. No. Yeah, that's usually how uh, that goes. It's like a slightly below average turbulent waters. Oh my god, fail. And it ends with a useless enemy unit. With a useless uh, ally joining. Oops. Actually, my phone just woke up. Oh, it's finished charging. That's why. Okay. So the silver bows and arrows there will make sure that uh, those monsters' attacks will never miss. I will welcome that consistency for this battle. Let's see. Line this up like there, like right there. Tilt the camera down, and then uh, zoom. This doesn't look any different. Yeah, I don't know. This would be the first I've heard of this uh, actually glitching out. Alright, so before you make your shopping trip... Let's make sure that Insatsu... Uh, Can make his way over and then I want to time this move for here. There we go. And three multiplies be all I need there. So I was just I was just waiting for this this uh, unit to uh, get in the mountain terrain. looking for that dust cloud so that way it also doesn't try to uh, take the base that Tristan just took and end up taking the uh, empty base nearby in the process effectively losing a second alright 
This battle sucks eggs. And I really, really don't like that these, all these uh, foes are moving first. I, I don't, I don't risk it. But if Dark King of the Abyss moves next, I'm gonna be in real trouble. I think I go for a critical hit here. All right, that was a low roll anyway. So low, in fact, I didn't actually need a... No. No. Oh, wait. I don't, I'm not going to take the chance. I would have needed a critical hit to uh, avoid healing there. I was just not in the mood for it. So, hey, that went, that went kind of well. That low-key went just fine. And yet, it still could have been better. There may be some hope for you yet. Maybe. With critical hits, these battles can always be better. Okay. Now I'm bringing Karibo. Bringing in the multiply. Maybe now I can start going nuts. Move there. Yugi, you follow. Alright. Yugi. Alright. You two are definitely wide enough. Not worried about the base. This base has a, an anti air cannon. So I can go around that just fine. I can go through that, through, uh, that area just fine. I just have to. Uh, Get wide of the Millennium Golem, and then park a unit nearby to get in the way of the exit of that Millennium Golem. So that way it doesn't it doesn't lay siege onto my base. So Heishin here is a problem. Oh, that's not gonna be enough. That's not gonna be enough damage. Uh oh the crit helped though. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Karibo. Already starting to be based. Actually, I would love for you to act next. Wonderful. I can actually kill you this turn. But yeah, Karibo kind of gets an ability as he levels up that uh, effectively doubles his critical hit rate. So, I'm hoping to see uh, a lot more of that, especially towards the end of the run. But that's fine. That is certainly just fine. I would like to believe that the critical hit helped. It wouldn't have normally, but uh, 
And Satu's attack had a really, really low damage roll. Alright, let's get out of here. Beautiful! That ended up being a good, crucial battle after all. Not crucial, crucial, but... It was good to get that. Alright, now for either... Uh, for, now either the easiest mission in the game, or for some people the hardest. It is easy if you know what to do. This game certainly doesn't uh, give you a lot of information to uh, determine the best way to go. Taya being surrounded on all sides. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, I gotta move you. Uh, Further away! Oh my goodness. I did not... I did not... Uh, I did not move her... Uh, far enough. I tried to go really quick on the movements. I didn't actually move her far enough. So... Uh, I had to do a little bit more. So what did that what did that lose me like five seconds at least right closer to ten but whatever I actually saw my mistake in time I had time to uh, see the mistake and that's not gonna make or break the run let's let's be real here. That is definitely not going to make or break this run. <laughs> All right. Mai is here, and she is going to get used. Well, here she'll be used, but uh, later she'll be useful. good that's good uh, there's a harpy lady there's a second harpy lady to recruit in this mission one that will uh, end up quite useful the uh, later parts of this run but I have to get to uh... a team equipped with Harpy Lady in a very specific spot in order to get it So, as much as I would like to have Harpy Lady in this battle, it would save me about 15 seconds if I did. Ow. Wait, am I gonna have a dead furball?
Oh, nice miss. Oh my god. I'm gonna rely on you two to get this damage range, which is definitely possible. Okay, that should be good. Oh, come on! Come on! You are inflicting more damage in Mission 3! Come on! That's not great. Crying out loud. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> That's so dumb. That is low-key really dumb. Respect. Would have saved time on that split had I actually uh, gotten the damage range there. Unreal. Move you, move you. Place you with you. I need to equip you first. Place you with you. Get you equipped. And get you equipped. Get these fangs and this whip. And now you get the stronger Harpy Lady. And these fangs and this whip. And there we go. Now the final teams are set. And this is... Uh, the first mission involving... Involving enemy boss, an enemy boss where you just have to get to the boss in order to win. You do not have to beat the boss. So, uh, my move's just as fast as Yugi at this point, so, uh, I'll just let, uh, I'll just let Yugi, I'll just let, uh, Yugi uh, defend the base here, and hopefully shorten this battle a great deal. Okay, you paralyzing Curse of Dragon should actually help. Please, Kareeba, move next. Ugh. Whatever. Whatever. It works out. So Kribo's gonna be slightly underleveled because of uh, getting killed by a Tensa, but it's not gonna be too bad. Oh yeah, Harpy Lady looks way wide of Labyrinth Tank to uh, get in an encounter. But it is something I worry about. It is always something I worry about because I've been burned one I've been burned a few too many times. By uh, trusting uh, old visual cues and such. Yeah, nothing nothing to do here. Just run away, wait for Harpy to hit the base. And 
and then get ready for a little bit of mind control. Because what is a Yu-Gi-Oh plot without mind control? Oh my god, fail. How much time did I end up losing over those two missions? 38 seconds? That sounds that that sounds closer to uh, what I should normally be losing there, but I can make up that time. The presence of the second harpy lady in Mai's team will definitely help in the long run. Pull the barricade, even though I'm not 100% certain. That it, uh... Nope, that's too... That's too narrow. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> whatever, I tried to be... I tried to be cute with the camera. Make a really short distance move really fast, but... I suppose I didn't need to. All I need to do here is run away. Harpy Lady's usually getting the first turn in this battle to do that. I might be getting rain later. So with the internet already being bad, that's something to keep an eye on. My notes say to attack you first, but... I don't know. Like, having the stronger Harpy Lady than... I would have before does kind of help. Oh, you're guarding? That's not good. That's not a damage range I don't think I can... I think I can hit. Uh, missing Garuzis definitely does not help. And prevent the most turns with this. Didn't even. Wow! Wow! Jerk. This is a bad battle all around. My word. Not getting damage ranges. Miss Lady? <laughs> Why? Why did... What? Ugh. Crying out loud. Yikes, dude. Internet's going down. Teammates, my team is going down. Everything about this is going awful right now. Yeah, you just had a nightmare, that's all. Oh my god, fail. Don't don't be upfront about what happened to her, just Just make her feel bit feel better. All right, Z up A A R. Those are the buttons I need to memorize. Z up A A R. Not bad. So I'm, I move Simon to uh, the main to uh, the main enemy base in order to uh, start triggering this cutscene.
this wipes out all of the enemy cannons. Ah! One more, one more and I might be able to build the barricade. I don't think I need it for this battle. But it would have been nice to have. First order business, paralyze the beaver. And then take out this warrior. This I would be able to do with or without the barricade. Yep, do not trust Harpy Lady's Day and Dreams to hit the sword, mistress. Nope, absolutely not. There we go. So I would say this went about as expected. Don't think don't think the uh, barricade actually helps here anymore. So I don't have to worry about that. I do need to stop you though. And did, move, did Yugi move wide enough? Yes, he did. Now, as uh, Yugi makes his way to Joey, I'm going to make my way to uh, my weather report and see uh, where the storms are. Hmm. They're around. He might be coming in a few hours, but they are around. But anyway. This battle really makes you pay attention to turn order. There are definitely there are definitely uh, there are definitely uh, monsters I don't want attacking here. Well, I guess Red Eyes' attack animation is fat is longer than Ryukushin's. That's something to keep in mind. Okay, you can stop doing that now. Nice miss, lady. Damn. That might prove to be a problem. Okay, you're attacking Harpy Lady, so... I'm having to see a couple of extra attacks. Like, I'm, I'm mostly concerned about anyone dying because Panther Warrior hurts. The warrior just hits too hard to be left alive. So my my top priority is usually to uh, disable it so that way all my monsters are oh my God. sure to get experience. But yeah, that just lost time. That just lost time. 
Uh, I'll be hoping to make a bunch of that time back here. So let's see. I want to make sure I get the angle I want. Cursor on the very edge of this forest where Ansatsu will be. You can just park yourself right there. And wonderful, those two are trapped. Goody, goody. then. Let's see how much paralysis can wreak havoc in this battle. I'm gonna need it in order to save the most time. Okay, you moving is not is not super. You moving is even worse. So, Tigerax will be the one to uh, get the shaft, if not the full-on axe. Try to keep foes paralyzed as much as I can. Keep their turns from happening. We're moving again, it's fine. Get you paralyzed. Get rid of Panther Warrior. Really? Really? You hit like 583 last turn. 509? What the hell? Oh, now you start waking. Oh, I have a, do I have a dead witch on my hands? Oh, boy. I think it would have been efficient. Well, screw efficiency for a second. Let me just... Get rid of everything here. Not quite getting the damage. Oh, no. Uh, Harpy Lady's damage range is a bit sketchy there. I think it's in the 360s? At, at, at least. Yeah, it's probably. it was probably fine. Yeah, it was probably fine. Yeah, it looks like today is going to be one of those days. There may be some hmm. hope for you yet. Maybe. I was counting on that to uh, save some seconds. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Mm -mm. Hmm.
So this is going to get a little awkward. About as awkward as this uh, internet has been. I need to start moving you now. Sheesh. I started moving mine really late. Oh well. Just hoping that this battle goes okay. Labyrinth Tank likes to act out of the line sometimes. Doesn't like to stay paralyzed. Machine types don't uh, stay paralyzed very often. Alright, Curse of Dragon just moves, so I'm gonna try to get a critical hit on the slot machine. And with no dice there. Labyrinth Tank, just too dangerous to live. Again. Paralyze the Curse of Dragon. And this is a damage range Kribo can hit. On on the Curse of Dragon. Not quite. I thought it would be a bit more feasible, but alas. Really? 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 Get out. You should have enough attack to do 100 damage through the guard, right? Yeah. Well. Well. That wasn't perfect either. Hardly anything <laughs> in this, in this uh, run ends up perfect. There's always room for something to go wrong that's outside of your control. For you yet. Maybe. Alright, Bakura is up to something. Let's see how this goes. You've already lost. I was never after you. Did I move far enough? I barely did. I just wanted that straightest path I could, as quick as I could I could manage it. I guess. It's not going to do a great job of intercepting occur in a timely fashion here, but, uh... That's all you need to do, just intercept. Only Bakura needs to go down in order for this mission to be clear. It's normally 
a race as uh, both sides try to uh, get to uh, the place where uh, the whole resistance began. Procura to destroy it, and you get to save it. Nice miss. And that's a long attack animation. If Snake here's normal attack didn't uh, paralyze, I would uh, try to paralyze Pumpkin instead. All right, that's fine. That's not optimally how I would do it, but, uh... I did, I did end up attacking Pumpkin without thinking when, uh... I should have been after... Reaper. What are you doing here, being useless and antagonizing? And here you are, just being useless. There may be some hope for you yet. Maybe. Hope? Going into the first genuinely run-killing... ...mission of the entire run? Yeah, yeah, there's hope. Sure, sure. We can call that hope. Sure, we can call that hope. <sighs> yeah, that is a level 99 Dark Magician. And that's Raigeki. Which, at this time, was still a supremely strong, overpowered magic card in the trading card game. And here, it's a spell. A level 5 magic spell. That Dark Magician is certainly able to uh, make use of. Thanks to having level 5 magic ability, and it has magic craft to make the magic stronger. So Raigeki will inflict about a thousand damage to everybody. And guess who, uh, Barely has a thousand life points. Yeah, Karibo is just dead. If that if that happens, and I've had it happen a few times lately. I I need Harpy Lady to hit a paralysis and have the paralysis uh, keep Dark Magician from attacking. Nothing else in this mission really matters. Like, my... my, uh, defeating efforts are... mostly gonna be concentrated on, uh, Disabling the two invitations to a dark sleep. Of course! Of course. Well, this can still be a thing that works out. Karibo is missing out on a lot of levels because of this, though. Is there a damage roll? Is there a set of damage rolls that lets me get this kill right now? No. Not within reason. Be more likely to get a critical hit. If you had woke up and used Raigeki there, I would have been devastated.
So this will, uh, yeah, this will get, this will get some, this will be kind of fast. And Kribo gets some experience, but... Hope for you Boy, it's not gonna be good. Maybe. There is a decent amount of time save to find here, though. And I think I'm gonna focus on actually taking out Armored Zombie because it has been that much of a thorn in my side. Like, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what I do at the start of this battle. Like, Armored Zombie's normal attack paralyzes, and whether it gets to paralyze or not, it's just gonna be up to chance. I can't reasonably manipulate it. So... Uh... Whose paralysis will reign supreme? That will be the burning question. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. This is a, this is a fairly uneventful mission for uh, a speed run aside from uh, this armored zombie duty head critical let's go no do not paralyze Karibo Oh, oh, that might be worse. You missed? You missed the zombie? It's so slow. How could you miss the zombie? Oh, boy. So this is going to lose time. Because of Harpy being paralyzed. It's not going to have much to do with uh, attack power being lost as it is uh, paralysis being prevented. Okay. Okay, you waiting is helping. So yeah, it it really it really hurts to not have access to Insatsu in this battle. Harpy Lady I can work around, but Insatsu really brings in the, the damage. And it's reliable because it has a silver bow and arrow. It's the only it's the only thing I can reasonably rely on. That's fine. Beautiful. That's fine-ish. Alright, here we go. The master of the Blue Eyes White Dragon, Seto Kaiba himself, makes his grand entrance into Yugi's story. I'd like to hear more sound effects here, but whatever. Go to the ground canyon. Move you to the front. Build a barricade. Here we go. Oh, I gotta move you there. <laughs> Moving you a little late. That's certainly not gonna make or break this mission, though. There are a few things I can break, make or break the mission, but that's not one of them.
you're moving next. You have 1,200 life points. That's a little high for what you uh, normally come in at. And that's a really low damage roll from you. You may not get this kill. Crap. <laughs> oh, man. Yakuta Mugami came in uh, very disappointing there. I think the other one's still guarding. Yeah, you're still guarding. Wait, no, you're not. You're not guarding. What am I, what am I thinking? I wasn't. Thinking was uh, not something I was doing. So yeah, I'll trust Dark Witch to get this kill. Why? Why would I? Wait, why would I think that? Why would I think that? 540 damage. It's easy for for these fairies. I don't know. Doesn't, doesn't look like I was doing any worthwhile thinking here. So I probably got like what an extra ten seconds of attacks I had to see. Huh <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be little things like that that uh will call call in question the uh Effectiveness of the run if uh, this fails to this barely fails to cut two hours But there's still quite a bit of ways left to get to that point First I gotta see Insect Queen here lumber her way over here That's why you have to build the cannon quickly because because uh, doesn't because uh, the, the cannon barely gets ready before she enters the base 551 do you hit that range? I think you do yeah Harpulay should hit this ring. No, excuse me? I've never seen her not hit that range. What? Fix that for the guide, because I thought that was a guarantee. Nothing I can do about that, though. So I a little bit of time to change the guide. I saw another thing that uh, needed updating as well. Well, that's interesting. I'm 
usually best equipped to take out the middle. And you woke up anyway, dude! No, 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 you are not allowed to do that. That is going to be a legitimate problem. I need the deeps. So I'm going to risk this. Alright. I need that damage per second. Please hit Karibo. Karibo, um... Uh, I'd say Karibo's more expendable, but... You're guarding. Get out. I don't know why I did that. Because I wasn't going to be able to take advantage of it after. <sighs> Whatever. Why is Paralysis not doing anything? Are you for real right now? Huh. You're guarding, fine. You can continue to guard, I'm gonna make sure I uh, cut my losses here. Oh, there's, there's a dead furball. Man. Crying out loud. Definitely not that that's never happened before, because I've definitely had blue eyes get unfortunate critical hits on me, but... <sighs> that sucks! That sucks so many eggs! Oh my god, fail. And I've got a decently strong endgame to fight against, too. Ugh. Ugh, this is gonna be awful. This is gonna be a run that I'm not gonna like because the game, like, 80% of the time losses here are the game conspiring against me. It's so dumb. Time to spare, I guess. Okay. Got my cannon fodder out. Kribo is such a low level. May not even get to level 30 by the time this run's done. That's supposed to be like part of its appeal. Ew. Oh well. First priority here is to make sure this illusionist, illusionist faceless mage does not get off a Rime. It's a level 4 magic as opposed to the level 5 magic of Raigeki that was seen earlier. And it paralyzes the entire party. Is definitely something no one wants. All right, I'm gonna see if you hit this range. Damn. 
Hey Freeland, how's it going? I've been going the entire time. Mm. Internet hasn't been able to keep up, but... I've still been here. That's... that's just, uh... Another day at the office for, uh... How this connection behaves. It's this house, really. This... This house is cursed. Curse with hundred year old electricity. <laughs> oh, really? Really? You hit a range you hit that low? Why does Harpy Lady seem like a lower level than usual? I mean that's the level she normally Ugh. Ugh. Weird weird. Just, this run has been weird, like, 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 I just had an untimely critical hit from Blue Eyes. Armored Zombie still went off and hit, uh, Harpy Lady. What else happened that was unfortunate? I've had, I've had quite a bit of paralysis woken up from on me. Like, paralysis has generally not been nice. That's why uh, this run is where it's at right now. Really? Oh, I don't trust you to hit this range. Why do I? Why did I go for it? Set? I've never seen you hit 700. What the hell? Okay. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I may have seen it once before. But that. But, ooh, 700. 700 from you, that's... That's something else. That is definitely something else. <sighs> Alright. Oh, their job is done. Now, uh... Now to uh, get Tristan out of the way for his last uh, roll in this run. And there we go, I officially know too much. How's this first hit go? Not a crit. Can't risk it. Gotta spread the damage. Really? Okay. Like I can, I can prepare, I can prepare for uh, a critical hit on the barrel dragons. I could not reasonably oh okay I cannot reasonably prepare for a non critical hit on Cosmo I could have uh... uh there was a there there there's a damage roll that I could have hit that would have uh let me multiply and kill Cosmo 
<laughs> Excuse me! Mom, Barrel Dragon's rigging the RNG again! Crying out loud. Ay, 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 It's just been that kind of run, I guess. Man, Karibo's really not looking like he's going to get to level 30 and get the lucky ability. Oh, boy. Beautiful. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Karibo being this low level, I do have to wonder if he can get the damage range on the uh, Imbibe of Apophis, because I've seen that fail. I've seen Insatsu and Karibo fail to kill one. They both have red medicines. I'm gonna... I'm gonna need that to kill. Oh, boy. Hmm. Dealing with this run and dealing with, with my internet today, it's starting to give me a headache. I don't want this to cut short, but, uh... I don't want to cut this uh, session short, but, uh... I don't know, my environment may not be giving me a choice. There are uh, storms in the area. And I'd be expected to get some storms... Right about the time I would be finishing... Finishing my next attempt. That's... ooh, that's low. That's really low. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Karibo usually doesn't have a trouble trouble hitting 700 damage there. Oh boy. Yeah, that's that's more like what I'm expecting. Yeah, just just take it nice and easy here. Yeah. That's fine. Not as great as it could be, but, uh... Boy, can that go wrong. Boy, can that go wrong for uh, reasons outside of your control. Hmm. Okay, okay. Hmm. Well. Yeah, this is going to get interesting. If I get interesting... I mean, it's going to come down to you know who. I don't think I don't think it's time for me to do anything crazy here. The crazy thing I would think about doing would be to uh, send my along for this gauntlet too. Quite frankly, though, Karibo needs the experience. I 
want to be sure. Karibo gets the levels. So we can do more critical hits. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> the game says Karibo... The game says uh, the lucky ability makes it, makes it easier to dodge, but... Uh, I think we've seen too much evidence of... Uh, of uh, critical hits and the uh, lack of relative lack of dodging to uh, suggest that that's actually true. I think it was Psy Beasting that uh, ran through uh, emulation and uh, discovered. Uh, that uh, Karibo was getting critical hits uh, on like multiple consecutive frames with the lucky ability as opposed to without you are not one I wanted to get after but I'll deal with this Based. <laughs> even without, even without lucky, uh, Karibo still finds a way to get lucky. Yeah, I'm just gonna run this way. We don't die. We multiply. I could possibly have hit the range on the other one. It didn't matter. I'm just going to keep this turn from happening. And then I'll keep this turn from happening. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm like mostly concerned about Insatsu's health going through this three battle gauntlet. So I can see it getting to the point where I have to stop and heal. Cyrosaurus's. Definitely gonna try to min max this. Alright, seeing you do that does not instill confidence in me. You're guarding. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, Someone broke that guard before Krivo's turn. Really? That, that yeah, I guess I guess I guess uh, that Jinzo's a little bit too beefy for that. That's fine. Yeah, everyone's fine. Everyone's in a fine enough amount of health. Okay. 
practice the angle here. Alright, that's fine. If I can tilt it a little more that way. But, uh... This... This flattened angle... Like... Like this, uh, lets you move... Units in 3D mode faster. You can move them. You can move them further distances in a shorter amount of time. I actually got that kind of close. Kind of low key proud of that. long, but that's fine. Nope, got you stuck. Oh well. What will be my visual cue here, then? So, yeah, this is just a mess. What would I be looking for there? Hmm. Did I even move you far enough? I did, okay. What's left is Gate Guardian. This usually doesn't go wrong. Attack Suigen, actually. Oh, good God Almighty! I, I need to paralyze you. I knocked you into a healing range. Somewhat inadvertent. I mean, Suigen does have the longest attack animation, so this is fine to uh, leave like this. Uh, do I have a dead furball? Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, that sucks. Um... Okay, this might be a problem. That critical hit. Well, okay, that would have been a problem. Just whatever. Uh, just whatever. Yeah, this mission gets volatile. Simply from all the uh, battles I have to do. Oh, my bad, damn green, you let you let you get that kill. Oh well. Like this is just so hard to keep up with. This end game is so hard to keep up with. I I. I almost literally need the perfect obelisk now. Oh my god, fail. <sighs> Boy. Boy. <laughs> already already resigned to the likelihood that obelisk is gonna be bad, huh? We've we've already arrived there? Let's see. Well, 
Let's see how this does go. Hmm, what would that take? Because in my record... My team had to get like uh, 1500 more damage. Like I was able to uh, get it to go that far. Just with Yugi's team. You're waiting. Alright. Seeing you wait is nice. Karibo, please do something nice. No. That's not anything super nice. I can keep uh, these things from attacking, though. Unless dragons want to wake up. Now, why did I do that? Why did I do it that way? That's actually weird. Like, unless you crit, there's no real chance of yeah, why, why did I do that? I don't know. I don't know, that's fine enough. This really does need the perfect obelisk now. Something that I haven't seen in weeks. some facsimile thereof. That's step one of ten. That's step two. Lady, based call that step three, <laughs> step four. Hey, you woke up again. Wonderful. I keep saying I need the perfect obelisk. This is going to be the time to go for it. I just need one paralysis to... to stick. Thank you! Thank you, Miss Lady! You're gonna be the reason this dies right here. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> God, that was one heart attack after another. Holy smokes.
Holy shnikes. Ugh. Gun freaking real, dude. No, it's it's definitely sub two. It's not even close. Say stuff like that and you continue to not know what you're talking about. About time. I gotta say I wasn't sure if you were gonna pull it off. Alright. Time to get out of here with our sub two in hand. Ay. Ay, ay, Oh, boy. So many things went wrong here. God, this... God, this run wanted to conspire against me so bad. And then at the end, it showed mercy. <laughs> it only showed some mercy. Oh. Ay, 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 Oh man, well. Maybe I'll be able to show uh, more later how uh, effective the second Harpy Lady is going to be. I don't think she really showed her uh, best in this one. Friggin' hell. Paralysis didn't want to stick, leading to uh, lots of premature deaths. I actually lost time on refugees trying to be cheeky. That's what I get. Oh well. More work to do. I will continue to uh, do that work.